Welcome to Catherine Favor Worldwide Evangelical Outreach, where we are passionately committed to spreading the timeless message of Christ's love and teaching. Join us on this inspiring journey as we walk hand in hand in embracing the beauty of faith through the transformative power of the gospel from God's masterpiece evangelist Catherine Favor. Jesus Christ. I welcome you to Armenia Adhesive. Armenia Adhesive today is like a warning to a young men or young youths that are after rich ladies. This is not a, an encouraging habit or behavior or mission. It's so discouraging that when some young men see like they won't really work hard, trust God, believe God in everything they lay their hands to do, but they have desire to get wealth quick, quick by kind of reaching out to women, even older than, as old as their grandmother, just because of money. You see, the love of money is the root of all evil. And the, another problem is the way they pursue this money is very dangerous. There was a period, um, somebody sent me a message, a, a young man, send me a message it, it asks for a friend request you know so after the friend request the young man sent me a message requesting how do i might get to know you and all that i'm like what you have seen in my platform i'm an i'm a preacher evangelist what do you want to know about me you know i did not respond because it's not the first time neither is it the second or the third so I did, I, when I saw it, I would, I just pray in my spirit, Lord, have mercy on this youth. What, what information does this person wants to know about this preacher, a married woman, a mother? What does this young man, or if my son is older than this young man, my son is older than this young man, sending me a message requesting to get to know me. You see what I'm saying? I did not even respond to that because I saw it as uh, any response that we give, we kind of give room more for more because one have sent me a message some time ago requesting to get to know me and I canceled that one. A young man told me, he said, it doesn't matter if you are married, you can make choice who you want to be with. A young man, old enough, old enough to be my son, a young, my son, Maybe my, my son's mate, or maybe he's a little bit older than my son. I see this consistent, it's like a consistent move. And you know, in prayer, I was just communicating with the Lord. Pray for young men, pray for young youth. Why, what will push young men to pursue women older than their mother, older than them, older than uh, somebody else's wife, thinking that there's something, money they will get from these people. As I was meditating, I was I just put it in prayer, Lord, have mercy on our youth. Then the Lord gave me a message. And this message the Lord gave me is many are deceived. So in this many are deceived, in this many are deceived, I just want to encourage us. I know this time the Lord didn't take me to Hades, but kind of showed me a particular one. Like, like it's like the Lord telling me, you are worried about this young man. You are worried, pray for this young man, but like say these are so there are women that gave them room to carry it along, to bring it along, to live like that, because there are women that give them room to you know to live like that. And many of them having these affairs and intimate relationship, a connection with the older women, not knowing the power they are in, not knowing the demon, the deities they are in, not knowing the courts that these people are in. It is a dangerous move. It is a dangerous thing. So the book of Proverbs 10, 10, 4 said, lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. When a hand trusting God in everything you lay your hands to do, the Lord gives you increase. I know that. Trusting the Lord with all your mind, with all your soul, as you love him. Believing him that he is a rewarder of, to them that diligently seek him. He will make provision for you. Proverbs 10, 5 again said, this one 10, 5 said, He who gathers crops in summer is a prudent son, but he who sleeps during harvest is a disgraceful son. A lot of people have been misled in the sense that... Money you didn't work for will fall down on your lap. 
Just type amen to this picture. You see in 24 hours, this will happen, that will happen. These are monetary God of Mammon deceptive messages that have misled so many people, you see? And do you know some people still have that belief that because I type amen in this, money will come. That is a deception. That is a deceptive message from the pit of hell that have led some people, young men and young women, to sit and believe in fantasies of this um of these prosperity messages is a is an erroneous deceptive message of god of mammon that people have embedded in prosperity messages that have kept some people lazy they relax and wait when money will come and when money will not come you see some of them will not get up looking for somebody else's wife looking for somebody else's husband to mess around with so also young ladies you see i believe that no matter how little money come your way no matter how little things you do the lord will give increase but have faith in whatever you do persevere the lord will give you increase okay and upon this message if i look at 12 proverb 12 11 those who walk their land will have abundant food but those who chase fantasies have no sense these are people they face they chase fantasies in the room of an older woman in the room of older women thinking that that's where we get income that's where we get it so it's, an, it's, it's a fantasy things that is not in real it's not real it's not real it is a shameful thing that even some women they look at other other homes they want to pursue it go into another woman's husband home look there is no peace there there is no peace because the home that the lord have set up for any family you see another what god have joined together let no man put us under that word is very huge when another try to come in even if it's in secret you know the modern days they call it side chick the modern days they call it sugar mama sugar whatever it's a it's a deceptive move and it's a cost there's a cost that go with it it comes with it comes with detrimental cost you see what i'm saying so some people don't know what they are doing but what we are looking at today if i look at jeremiah 17 before I, I go with the story, if I look at Jeremiah 17, 4, from verse 4, it says, And you yourself will relinquish the inheritance that I gave you. I will enslave you to your enemies in a land that you do not know. For you have kindled my anger, it will burn forever. This is what the Lord says. Cause is the man who put trust in man, who makes the flesh his strength and turns his heart from the Lord. He will be like a shrub in the desert. He will not see when prosperity comes. He will dwell in the patches places of desert, in a salt land where no one lives. If you see, he keep going, going because when somebody pull away from trust of God and trusting God in what God is we do in that person's life putting trust in god and you know this person remove their mind and put their trust in a human being it's a cause human being will fail human being is like a rose if the air something you see it will flow it will be flourishing like the day when the sun hit it is cut down that's what human being is like and it's a cause for somebody to put their trust in man i am not afraid what a man will do to me there was something that my brother was kind of my, my brother was like you're calling the man name of these ministers you know they will come after you come after you look at him you talk as if you don't know who god is people need to know what is going on i cannot bring out a message when the lord has not given me uh, go ahead i speak as the lord directs me and the trust the lord that you have called me his shield and protection over me and over every minister that stand in truth i say in truth don't just create it i told him what you hear me preach is not created he said, you call the name of um, Jeremiah or Mot of I said, that's a false prophet. There's no two ways about it. This The Lord is exposing a lot of false preachers. And as men that put trust in men, so are their blessings are shifted. So messages of erroneous teaching needs to come out so that souls will come to know the truth. So anyone that put trust in men, we need not to be afraid of what man will do to us. Because brother, if you see the glorious angels of God over children of God, if you see the mighty glory of God, the power of God over you that put trust in God, that have trust in God, in believe in by 
by his word. Trust him by his word. You will see that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. It is what people say with their mouth that bring fear in them. You should not be afraid of what people say because it's good. When you confess positive, the glorious power of God, when you come talk of Satan, Satan, fear, fear, Satan, you see, you are praising Satan. You are praising Satan because fear comes from Satan. You see what I'm saying? So when I was talking to him, I said, you always talk of, you, you're afraid of nothing. Because when you talk of Satan, Satan, what they will do, you, 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 you look at God in a small bubble. That is a dangerous thing. You don't know how big God, you talk, you talk as, you say you know Christ, you know how big God is. If you see the glorious power of God over a true child of God, you will be amazed. If you see the light of God over a born again child of God, the light, the Bible said the light shines in the darkness and the darkness comprehends it not. So when you, you say you have Jesus Christ, you have received light, you are the child of light, the glory of God is over you. The enemy is afraid of you. So when people bring negative words, don't let negative words move you. So the person that the Lord has put in his glory over, Everyone that accepts Jesus as Lord, the glory of God is over you. As you have opened your mind, your mind to serve the Lord in truth and in spirit, his grace, his favor, his power is over you. You walk every day of your life, his life, his word guides your thoughts, his word guides your, your doing, because you live to obey the word of God, not just the hearer. When you say you have opened your mind to serve God, you serve God in truth and in spirit. Where is fear? Fear is of the devil. The light of you subdue the path of darkness. That's what I'm trying to say. So when he was talking, I said, look at emptiness. What you, you talk as somebody that don't know Christ. Do you know who Jesus is? Do you know the ultimate power of God? He's the creator of the whole universe. His word comes life. When Jesus speaks, his word is life. Everything about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is life. He is the creator of the whole universe. He is the one that created Satan. Satan is the created cherub. He is created. And you are talking about the God of all God. He is God himself. And he himself came and died and became a 100% man and redeemed us. And we are connected to him. And you tell me to be afraid of Satan, that is a lie because it's like you bring yourself down. So when a human being that have this glory, God has given this full protection over you, then you put your trust in beggarly human being. You put your trust in man, put in fear. I told him you don't know Christ. If you know Christ, if you know who you serve, you will know that when he gives you his word, his words are never returned to him void. And when he tells you, go and do what I want you to do, do it diligently because he is the rewarder to them that call him and to, that seek him. You see what I'm saying? So if we look, when I finish talking to him, I said, nobody, nobody should make, give a message without God putting word in his or her mouth. Anyone that creates message without the Lord leading, that person is the one exposing themselves to trouble. But I know the Lord I serve. I cannot bring up a message without being assigned. Anytime you don't see me on set, know that the Lord, I didn't get a message for that time. You see what I'm saying? So every time I come at the Lord give me a message, he was like, panic. I said, stop, stop. Bro, false prophets have been exposed every day because many Christians are deceived. Many children of God have been misled. And a lot of people are coming to know that they have staged drama and they call it miracle. They have sensational message and they just make people dance and jump up and without receiving anything. They create miracles. These are deceptive miracles that they create. They are not of God. And they use the power of Satan, divination and sorcery to create miracles. They need to be exposed as the Lord directs us. So you don't say, when you say you talk of fear, what, what fear are you talking about? It means you live in sin. If you live in sin, you'll be afraid. But you know you will live in Christ Jesus. You have boldness in him. Where comes fear? Fear is of that Satan. And that is the Satan is trying to speak through you to suppress me, to carry out the work of God. He was looking at me and saying, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So at the point, we went through some certain things and it was resolved. He said, oh, if God has sent you, Go ahead and do the work of God. He was just giving example. I said, Brad, I said, I said look, don't go there. Who are you in Christ? That's the most important thing. The spirit of God directs his servants. And when the Lord ministers to his ministers, go and speak and you stand and declare. If the Lord did not lay it in your heart, don't do it in the name of Jesus. So what I'm trying to say here, I'm bringing us, you and I, a born again child of God. Do you know the light of God over a child of God? Then this person put that word, that light aside and put trust in beggarly human being and put trust in another, put trust in Satan. 
letter number two, two things here anyone that put trust in man is under a curse Cause is the man who trusts in mankind. Cause is the man who trusts who, who, who trust in mankind, who make the flesh his strength and turns his heart from God. That is a big cause. So the example I'm giving you here now, brethren, is for you to see, look at it spiritually. You have this great big God in you. And you put him to the side and turn around because this person is a human being. Oh, because he's one of these big preachers. Oh, because he's, we have all this money in the world. Oh, because he has all this connection in the world. Two things here. Number one, you put trust in man, man will fail you. You put trust in Satan, hellfire is there. And when you put trust in man, what is your faith? In, in faith determines, again, the destination of who put trust in man. This person is operating on their course. The blessings of God is on start now because the trust you put in man, man cannot solve that problem. They, they can give you chicken change chicken change does not mean listen to me don't get me wrong here does not mean when you are praying we are not praying for financial breakthrough right for god to intervene in whatever we need we have need here right now and we pray to god for visitation god will use somebody we don't know maybe somebody we know somebody we don't know it is god we trust to use somebody to do it these are two things here you must clarify because god use somebody to intervene in your in your issues does not mean you put trust in that human being that's what i'm trying to say here when you divert your focus that god from god who have brought that person you divert your focus from god and put it on human being you have a problem even the human being donates to your ministry help you out you have to go back to God that I'll use that person to intervene in that matter. That's what I'm trying to say. So there are two things here. Where will your mind focus? Let it be direct to him who makes the provision through somebody. But do not put your trust in this person. Oh, if this person leaves, oh, not we won't have food to eat. Oh, if this person leaves, there will be no money to eat. Oh, if this person leaves, what will happen? You see, you have already put trust in this person. That's the two difference. So if this person leaves, the Lord that brought him will bring another. You see what I'm saying? The Lord that brought this person to provide, to give me this business or contract or job, that same God will provide another. This is what I'm saying, putting trust in God and not in man. Praise the Lord. So another thing again is the destination. So this young men that pursue married women or older women because of money, they are they kind of limit themselves. Look at what look at what God said here in the Jeremiah 17. I will, I, I will enslave you to your enemies in a land that you do not know. For you have kindled my anger, it will burn forever. This is what the Lord says, cause is the man who put trust in mankind. So I'm going down to the message. So I'm presenting it here. For a young man that look, uh, uh, look for human being or kind of encroach into another man's home, lay with their wives, will not work hard, depend on women, depend on older women to provide for them. It is a dangerous thing. A lot of them, you might, you might say, oh, there's nothing in it. It is a dangerous thing. This one is a warning because when somebody sent me a message, I want to get to know you. I'm like, this young man, my son is older than this young man. What do you want to know? No, you have come to my page. I am a preacher. What do you want to know? You hear me preach. What do you want to know? Listen to the message. What do you want to know? What are we going to talk about? What do you want to know? It's on my page. Listen to the message. That's who I am. And when I got this message, it's not the first time, second, nor third. Okay? So, so as I was meditating in prayer, during my prayer, the Lord brought me out into my kitchen because in my home, there's, I, you know, I brought out um, my oven pot. I used to cook like, I like, like you know, African rice. I use I do the, I did I use the oven pot I did oven so I brought out for my children to wash right I know there were some leftovers in this but you know it's a little bit so I just brought it out for them to wash and I know it's their exam period and they were doing they were studying <laughs> so sometimes my daughter will say mommy I'm busy I'm not gonna tell and if I'm if I'm not busy I'll do the dishes but if I'm, when I'm busy I say hey guys come and do the dishes they take turn to do you know, after cooking, they take turn to do the dishes. So at that time, I noticed that it was there, but I've been busy, you know, doing so many things. So 
my mind was going my mind was going to what might be in the pot did they wash it they don't wash it i was kind of thinking how did, did, if the chores in the house has been done you know all of a sudden i know I, I i noticed that as i was seated i just realized it's like the lost element listening to me he said do you know my, like my mind was like in that pot the food whatever food that was in there must have rotten right yeah so as i was meditating right i i saw the pot i was brought out in my kitchen spiritually again i was brought out in my kitchen i was looking at it i said oh it's they've not washed it do you know when i it's like i opened the pot what i saw in there is not is the actual food left over but it's so so rotten when i say rotten it's so rotten i said oh they didn't wash it so another voice said the voice said do you know somebody eats this i said who will eat this rotten food all of a sudden right i was pulled back and i i saw this lady was brought she carried the pot with the rotten food my brother when i said rotten you know when food is rotten the oil is apart the water is apart and this lady lifted this pot, put the face i was eating i said wow it went off my eye. i said what is this and when i said what is it it was so irritating that the human being we just eat rotten food and this is a beginning of it, of the message then i was taken out from there and I, after i was taken out from there i was taken to somebody's bedroom when i was taken from somebody's bedroom i noticed that somebody lay on the bed right and it was a lady in a beautiful one i said beautiful home beautiful well furnished so when you come in there you see that okay most of the things in there are quite expensive right so this person lay on the bed right and i saw another one of like the soul got up from this person the person was still on the bed and he got up i pulled back i was looking so the real body lifeless on the bed but this one told have come up and i saw dark creatures came to take this person i said where is he going they started going to a dark place when i heard i said i said oh the voice said this is a message for many of the scene. i said oh, really he said this time we are not going to the hades for you know what happens in hades now seeing this person you will know where this person is going to i said oh so this person didn't serve you lord this person didn't serve Lord. then he took me back he explained to me why he said some people did i see her eat that rotten food i say yes she was in court when i say court well-known court she 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 belonged to this court and he said that there's some certain food this person will eat i said what they made them eat give me one minute so they made them eat they made them eat dirty nasty food i'm telling you the truth and give me one minute guys okay she was made to eat dirty nasty food i said and my mind was like <laughs> really so i was made to understand she was in one of these four known courts and the god of mammon is said that their duty is to bring young men for them the woman got up she turned around saw her lifeless body still lay on the bed dead and she walked i remember what she wore she wore like a, a, a um, white flower blue dress with the lower one at the, the at the bottom and all that as she was she got up she was she started walking to this dark place in another place as the lord was now taking me step by step to see where this person belonged the woman had two sons and i was brought out in the street i saw them come out from church they used to go to church two sons came out from the church in physical i saw them come out from church and you know they were walking she is she have this son here yeah, but my question is do they know what their mother was involved in? i don't know but 
she maintained a spiritual intimate. That's two things that she's supposed to be doing. She must maintain a spiritual intimate with young men, men, young men. And maintaining this spiritual intimate, you can see men are corrected from these young men. And before intimate relationship happen, there's a place that the Lord, I think I'm going too fast. I'm going too fast. Yeah. She have like, I was taken out to the house. There's a particular room. Nobody goes in that room. And, in the, the, you know, this are these big houses. It has a basement, like in, in, in some parts of the U.S. There are some homes, like, like when you come in the, in the area of, they have winter cold, like we have basement, right? Another basement is like another apartment at the basement, yes. So there's, she have an office down there. In that basement is where she makes conferences and this is where a lot of when she's supposed to have this intimacy with young men the the the, the forces have to be there and the young men won't know they do what they have to she do what they have to do and the young man will be there not knowing that everything but her his semen is taken and that's how this the, the temple will be going down gradually the body what i mean the temple of this person will be going down gradually it's so deep i'm trying to explain it so that you guys when i say so you guys will understand right but she has a special room because the special room in the hallway i saw the special room nobody goes in there she's the one that goes in there but you see this person there years back there was a time she was engaged to get married to somebody I know this person, and it's good that uh, for this time, for this time, I was, I'm not told to call the name. I'm not told to call the name this time. So at this time, I want us to know that, I want us to know that the name is not given, I'm not given permission to call the name. So therefore, I will hold it there, right? So, but I know this, but this time she was supposed to get married. I think they actually got married. But what happened? The person got to know that she was involved in something. This guy ran and left the country. Nobody heard about this young man again, the man that married her. But she continued. Great brethren, listen to me very, very well. Not all ministers are led by the Spirit of God. Some are flowed by God of Mammon. They allow money to control them. This lady have connection with well-known ministers. And she sow a lot of seed in these organizations. I'm telling you the truth. She put money. She put money in, this, in these places. And they respect her. But they didn't know. Not all of them have the open eye to know what she was in. And it was later, some people got to know she diminished from that area they know her and she focused in another. So I'm surprised the Lord brought it because she, she aged a little. She later had two sons. She aged a little for me to see. I was surprised because then she was like plumpy, you know. She was plumpy. I was like, I, is she the one? You know, I, you know. So, but what I'm trying to say, her duty was these two things. When she eat rotten food, and as she eat that rotten food, anyone it takes some time. Then anyone that she have this intimate with, they they drain semen, and this person spiritually is being hooked and controlled. This is how this person will be like. When I call a living dead, you can use the word a living. A destiny is being shortened. They might think the period things are you know that things the what makes this young man go after money. They might be seeing it happening, but spiritually they are they are going down. That was what I saw. So the feeding of the rotten food is the source. How Satan has brought this person down. So this is what you'll be eating when it's time for this activity. That was why I saw the rotten food. You know, there are brethren, things happen. Things happen. That is why in the face of the earth. Serve the Lord in truth and in spirit. Don't live in fear. You, the, the power you have is greater than all these powers people get afraid of. You, the power of God in you is greater than that power that is in the world. I am telling you, you know. So this, I would say, this lady have a living dead. I would say a living dead in her. Whereby who comes in is drained out. Young men that are after rich women, listen to me. This message is for you. And young ladies that are after wealthy men, listen to me. They make you a living dead. 
what is taken from you, every other thing that cannot work, then they look at this particular person, this is where stuff work, and whatever they give to you, you cannot use it for something fruitful in life. You cannot use it for something productive in life. Superficially, it can be seen, but nothing grows in this person. I'm telling you the truth. Matthew 6, 24 said, No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Because of many, many have sold, because of money, many young men, many young women have destroyed their destinies and caged themselves. Allow human being to cage them. Deliverance is only in the blood of Jesus. I'm telling you the truth. Deliverance is only in the blood of Jesus. So what, what I saw here, I was meant to understand this is how this woman functioned. She lived a church, then I was brought out. You know, when the Lord was kind of describing for me, they call her the queen. They call her the queen, right? And do you know what? It was later that the Lord actually showed me this real person. Like I was telling you, I said, wow. And there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. You wouldn't know. Please, brethren, whatever, you know, whatever you do, serve God in truth and in spirit. Don't care whether people, you know, praise or appreciate you or they will talk you down. They will criticize you. I get a lot of criticism. Even as I'm sitting here, I was criticized. Like I said, somebody called me, was telling me, oh, people don't follow you much. I said, I was criticized. You know one thing, that voice of the Lord, I said, go. Give this is the message for this hour. Even if it's one person I reach out to, I was attacked severally for what I do for the Lord, and I'm happy for it. You know why? It means that the kingdom of darkness is being shaken. That's that's the proof there. You won't get praise for what you do most of the time. You won't get praise. Rather, you see the enemy go through people, even people you least expect, they will stand against you. For this message, I was stood against and I still stand my ground. To pass this message, every young man, stay away from pursuing wealth. Work hard. The Lord will give you increase. Young ladies, stop looking for the person that will give you money to buy the ex most expensive car or most expensive phone or most expensive clothes to show off to people your age. Work hard. Whatever you lay your hands to do, the Lord will give you increase. Irrespective of what is happening in the community, the Lord that provides for the for the ravens in the air, the lilies, the grasses that kind of flourish, you see, and tomorrow you see they dry out. That's what the Bible say. The Lord is the one that feed them. And those later they dry out. Can't God give us his children that which will nourish us and make us productive in the destiny he has predestined for us? Do not shift your destiny and put it in the hand of another. Young men, you have a lot of these young men have shifted their destinies and put out in the hand of another. Many are made to eat poop, poop, excretion. excretion. Many are made to eat nasty things that come out from human beings because of money. I saw, I saw, I, you know, there was a time I saw in the street of Los Angeles, I think it's LA, one of the cities in America here. This is a white lady, not to say, okay, this person is black, with a, a, a chain like a leech, like a dog leech. The man have it around the neck, and this man was kind of pulling this lady. She was acting like an animal. That's her money. There are so many things they do. Allow human beings to kind of tame them because of me. I call them the lazy people. There are men, their life is to live for their fellow men to talk, torment them, use them like animals for money. Brethren, what I'm talking here is. A lot of people are wrongly initiated into satanic cults. So this lady is known as the call her the queen. Then I saw like a, 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 a high throne, right? I saw a lot of demonic creatures lifted up this throne, you know, and this lady was the one sitting on it. And they were hailing her, hailing her. I'm like, wow, so she's in court. And mind you, she goes to church. She participates in so many things they do in the house of God. And she give a lot. And tell me, that person on the seat, what was that person doing? The home was a room 
the room home has a room none is allowed to go into that room in the basement is an office only her intimate young men permitted when that when she had finished eating her rotten food and the conference with the demons has said any man that goes in there that's the sacrifice for that that person gradually gradually reduce the destiny is being chunked the basement used for spiritual partnership meeting yeah that's i wrote it down it's used for spiritual partnership meeting brethren so when this happens at the lord grant me grace i just saw your man playing in the house and i asked her but what of i know she have two sons she have two sons the two sons they have in their room upstairs they don't know what is going on downstairs it's like a three level house like three level house right so they are up there they, you know maybe they live in school but when they come home they are upstairs but other things that happen no they don't know mom acts real mom to them but on the other side mom is something else young men come in brethren young men you are some of these young men are initiated they are head captive bondage and spiritually i saw some head hand back tied back with black pants chain shirt the the, the 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 body top is bare held up after this and they don't know why what are you doing this why are you doing this to me down there in that on in that basement you see after this is done not that the person will die right away but it's held down there and afterwards the person be released and they be their friends right they now live with this woman but when this thing start happening it's like it's like their soul is taken out and they are being used for whatever they want to use and afterwards release and go back you see them they they, they drive expensive car they do whatever they want to do all that will be admiring brethren please be careful of what you admire some people will see some people so i wish to be like you don't wish to be like another you don't know where the source is coming from you don't know where the source is coming from and when this activity happens when, when this activity happens he will not know but when it's time they come when she with the person come to reality they release she releases them you know and go the person leaves but you know what we not remember what happened we not remember what happened even though they are friends i don't know that's what i'm getting even though they are friends they have room upstairs but this activity this young man will not know they gradually shrink until they disappear and not seen again young men if you are hearing me stop chasing wealthy women go and walk her the lord will give you increase number one number two when you pursue older women or whatever women because of the money you have sold your birthright you have put yourself out from the favor and blessings of god you have made human being your god and whatever power that is operating through this human being this young man i'm speaking to you you are held bondage brethren a lot of things you see some get married and things happen they kill the wife they marry because many are already in this and they have a family out there they don't know what is going on you see there are so many things happening Be young lady i will now speak to you before you say you want to get married you want to check pray through this let god guide so that you don't fall into somebody that is already caged in the kingdom of darkness and you will be instrument that will suffer the outcome of what they are doing and at the wrong run this person the person dies and the woman suffers in some cases in some cases what i'm getting in some cases the lady suffers into death bending when the spiritual force operating with this person this woman will release this young man but destiny wife is drained don't pursue what you see work hard so that the lord will be glorified in your effort and your blessings will be remained for you in the mighty name of jesus i cover every man woman everyone with the blood of jesus that your heart will not go into things that you know nothing about do not pray to be like somebody now let me go like 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 for this seeing this lady with these two sons their bible coming out in the street i was looking at them anybody that see oh she's white good looking beautiful anybody can admire right it's good but what is going inside that will bring us to this point number one do not admire what you don't know don't don't say i wish to be like this person don't do that 
because you don't know the power behind it. Number two, when you look at yourself, appreciate God and work hard. Whatever you do, praise God in it. The Lord gives you increase. That's what I want to say here. This is this was a lady that everybody know ministers that know her she was giving right but she belongs to a wicked court that is connected to four different courts kingdom of satan and she was known as the queen when she talks things happen because she know you know that this is what they use she knows how to um supply she knows how to provide this is what i saw and because the young man that sent me a message i was kind of praying for them then the lord gave me this message to pass this message share this message if you know any young man platform put it there this mindset of i will get it by all means by hook or by crook they say so many things i believe in hard work I believe whatever you lay your hands to do because you serve the Lord, no matter how little, the Lord will gradually give increase. Things will be happening in your life. Don't be moved about it. Perseveringly trust him. Don't believe that somebody will bring you down. It's a lie. The choices you make determine. What choice did you make? The choice you make to serve the Lord is the ultimate. And you being in Christ Jesus give you the superficial, supreme power connection with your maker against every other powers of darkness. I'm telling you the truth. No, no, no force. They might boast. They might talk. Do not accept negative voice. Do not accept negative threats. Do not accept negative word. Stand in the word of God. Use the word to challenge. Anyone that goes out of this protection, that person operating in a dangerous cause. Look at, I, 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 I found something in the book of Hosea chapter 5. He's talking about Ephraim. They have dealt treacherously against the Lord. For they have begotten strange children. Now shall a month, a month devour them with their portion. Blow ye the cornet in Giver and the trumpet in Rama. Cry aloud at Beethoven. After the O Benjamin, Ephraim shall be desolate in the day of rebuke among the tribes of Israel. Have I made known that which shall be, shall surely be? The princes of Judah were like them that removed the bound. Therefore, I will pour out my wrath upon them like water. Ephraim is oppressed and broken in judgment because he willingly walked after the commandment. He willingly walked after the after the commandment. Therefore, will I be unto Ephraim as a moth, and to the house of Judah as rottenness, rottenness. When Ephraim saw his sickness and Judah saw his wound, then went Ephraim to Assyria and said to King Joab, yet could he not heal you, nor cure you of your wound. When somebody, and you see this as a nation, when somebody has connection with God and move away, from the Lord and choose to do go to another God. Any cause, any rottenness in there is upon this person. It's only in Christ Jesus that this person will be released. When people connect to satanic courts, when people set, connect to satanic court, they bring the cause of God against them. When the repercussion comes, Except they pass through Christ, healing cannot be done. Yes, this happened in the time Jesus, the blood of Jesus has not been atoned. But it brings cause. Anyone that go to another God, open the cause. Whatever power, whatever the devil tell them to do, they do. But they have brought bondage of cause upon themselves. For I will be unto Ephraim as a lion. And as a young lion to the house of Judah, I, even I, will tear and go away. I will take away and none shall rescue him. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face in their affliction. They will seek me early. It's good they seek the Lord. Repentance early. I'm speaking to young men in this message. You must have gone through trying to defile somebody's marriage. You must have gone through trying to defile somebody's home. Repentance is in Christ. The Lord will forgive as you repent. But I want to use this to speak. It is a dangerous thing for one to leave the blessings and protection of God and go to another. It is a dangerous move. In the sense that the young man that will not hold on to the Lord, a young man. Look at Proverbs said, 
Lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. That's poverty 10 4. A young man that will work so hard will not work hard. They run away to start looking for an older woman to make provide for you. So people might ask me, what about in a land that is so hard? I'm telling you, in that land that is so hard, Jesus is there. It goes by faith. We trust God in everything we do. Jesus, the order and the finish of our faith. He is the one that makes it the way where there's no way. He is the miracle walking God. Challenges will come. The wind will blow. Hold on to him. He will never fail. I have gone through challenges. A situation whereby it's like things, nothing will happen. What I will get is hold on, don't move. Just remain where you are. Just remain. Don't listen to what they are saying. Just I remain. I didn't. It was a huge situation whereby. Whereby people were running because that was a job. I, that was during one of my interns, right? So we, we always go to jail to, to, you know, try to make a case to see how their case will be lighting upon them so that um, maybe they will get a light sentence and also even, uh, you know, the case discharge. There was one of these days we went, I went, somebody was supposed to be my supervisor that's supposed to be there before, you know. When we got the baby, the answer that I was, I just came into the case. The answer the person, the supervisor, professor was telling the man wasn't what he wants to hear. The person was already on in the bus, right? But we're in the front, just asking questions. He was whirling and screaming and yelling that he was going to do this. I was looking at him like, the lady pulled back. <laughs> he said, Catherine, what are you waiting for? I said, where are you going? Are you not afraid? I said, why would I be afraid? I don't have evil against him, so why would I be afraid? He said, but he's screaming. I said, but look at his behind bars. What is he going to do? So after that, he should call me and say, Catherine, you are always bold. I said, I don't see anything to be afraid there. I went there with love to help them. Maybe the answer you give him didn't really be what he wants to hear. So what my, my, my mind was like, let me know what do you want, what do you want to hear? You didn't give him room. You just got scared and run away. We didn't help that case. Brethren, there's something I, I do, there's a way I do stuff. And that's the way I see God say, do it. When you visit somebody, when you are preaching somebody, do it with love for a purpose. Knowing fully well that you are doing it for the glory of God. You see what I'm saying? It might not be part of what we are saying here, but what I'm trying to say here is have this mind of peace and love in you when you relate with people. When you are trying to, the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. You are relating with somebody with the fear of God. And when you have the fear of God to relate with somebody with honesty and truth, I'm telling you, protection of God is upon you. I've seen it repeatedly. I've seen it repeatedly. It's not once, it's not twice. Because I am communicating with you, telling you with the love of God. And you might be rallying and doing this and doing that. I don't see any danger in this because I come with love. Only if you don't want to listen to me, I will appreciate you and I take my leave. I'm bringing this to some spiritual face, right? In spiritually, people get fear of oh, what this person is doing to me. That person did that to me. No, don't. When you have this fear, you can't serve God. You don't know the God you serve. So I'm bringing this to some young men that have fear. Oh, uh, their great great grandfather did this to them. That their business, that for them not to get a better job. This person did that. Ancestor did that. Look, let me tell you, your confession of Jesus Christ. Breaking the ordinances and hand of the enemy over your life keeps you bold. Know you are set free. Therefore, whatever you confess positive, whatever I lay my hands to do, I will succeed. You know one thing. You might go some certain things it didn't work. Go back and challenge God. Father, I know who you are. This is what your word is. Therefore, you interfere. You see, in your prayer, God might be revealing something to you. You start counseling. You start breaking. That's what prayer is. That's what warfare is. You denounce and break whatever connecting against me not to succeed. You break them and move on again. You see, this is number one is spiritual. That's the complete armor of God. And according to the book of, I think, Ephesians chapter, chapter 6. If you go down, I think from verse 12, you talk about what we, we rest not against flesh and blood, principalities and powers. That's the message I should have given before part two today of spiritual wickedness in high places. The third principalities and powers is is is, is the first uh, 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 rulers of the darkness of this world is part two. That's what I should have taken today. But the Lord said I should give this message to young men. Now this is the spiritual warfare we fight. Bend you, you will have a, an armor to go with it. Faith, prayer. Preparation of gospel of peace, the word of God. Believe it in your heart. That's where you are. 
salvation that you are you already your head this head you are saved your helmet of salvation is there your feet is covered you see it's a spiritual armor see but when you are praying you challenge god this is who you have made me to be you have set me free so they have no right over me then you take authority break you see this is where the warfare is for a young man not to rise take their own they leave it and start to go to a an older woman for money get involved in relationship of, of destruction thereby they take their semen they gradually take their semen they gradually they are drying gradual sickness will be coming they will know it's a gradual process they'll be taking and draining and taking and draining until this person finally gives up then they look for another some young men we see i want to be like you don't know what is in there go and work hard for yourself leave women other women alone i a lot of this one i i, I wanted to talk about what that one this one it belongs to the lesbians her duty is to get women into lesbianism i'm telling you they give them expensive houses expensive cars what happens brethren what power is behind it this is what some people don't know they are caged they are so caged satan have caged these people therefore what i'm going to round off here with the lord knows those that will make heaven many have signed the contract for hell they know to serve who to serve mammon or, or god but it's so dangerous because it's good that this young man get this message are you a young man trust god whatever you do don't go by fantasies don't go by fantasies of what you want to get i want to ride this expensive car you want to ride this expensive vehicle you want to get the most expensive house for people to see that you have arrived where will your soul go to you rush after married women this young man was this young man that was used to give me example always whenever he was brought down in this basement his use. Meanwhile, the forces will come in, they will do what they have to do, and the young man will be called in. And the period she, this young man will be there will be drained for a day or two in that basement. And after they drain this person through sexual contact, through so many areas, they do what they want to do with this person. And when they bring this person down there at that basement, he won't know what is going on. I saw it spiritually that his hands are tied. That's what his cage. But that's how I saw it with the black pants. The powers of darkness that held him. That's the description. This person was held bound. And things will be happening. He will just be flowing by it. You know what? This person has opened the mind to fall into sin with a woman. That demon has gotten that person, period. And because sin is dead, they'll surely get this person. But someone that is not interested in that kind of lifestyle not to defend another person's wife someone that is not after a, after money because a young man that goes to an older woman what do you expect just tell me what do you expect what do they want from an older woman not woman of close to their age you see what i'm saying what do they want from an older woman because they want something that's why they go so because the devil see the mind that is open for this sin then they'll be able to kill this person boom the business has started they will drain until this person gradually start falling sick another will be taken and it's so shameful that money is the is the is the root of all evil and it's this money they used to get them young men i'm speaking to you leave older women alone stop looking for older women stop looking for women that will pay your bills and do stuff for you go and work hard trust god the little god has given to you he he will increase it as you trust him and believe in it. Yes, life is hard. Some people are criticizing, where will your soul go to? Hell is open. I pray the Lord taught you because the example I'm giving with this young man, I, I didn't see of a young lady, but of ladies. It's of the men I see. And what they're after is young men. I'm telling you the truth. So my other, okay, okay. Some that are married, they, they don't tell their wives where they go. They just like that they're going for business. They have contract with this company and all that. Ladies, please know the source of income of your, of your spouses. Know the source of income before you say, I do. Check and know what they do for a living. Don't go by fantasies. Oh, he can bring a car. He can bring this. Years back, I know of a young man. 
when he wants to go after ladies, he comes with expensive car. Whose car is a woman's car? I'm telling you the truth, it happens. A lot of women are under bondage, they don't know what they're getting into. And the men think that they are enjoying, they are already drained. Destiny is being is, is being chunked down. Hellfire is open. It's only God that will intervene. When the Lord, the mercies of God intervenes. So this is a message for young men. The one I'm getting, the Lord's kind of into me now. They, some are married, but they don't know where the source of income is coming with a woman. They've been already initiated. This, the connection is there for, for the kingdom of darkness. Because the covenant has been made that there's whatever from them is drained. And they can't say no to this woman because the woman have already, the covenant has been made. They don't know their soul. It's not like say soul is sold to the devil. So this man said, young men, please stay away from older women. You are looking for money from them. Satan have set so many of them up out there. I know a lot. In the area of the women part, the Lord didn't tell me to preach about the women part, but I know there's organization of women, the woman part of lesbianism. They gather women. They even make them leave their matrimonial home. I see it, brethren. Jesus is coming very soon. The signs of the last days, everything is open for us. There's no time to hide the truth, like somebody telling me to hide. You speak out the truth to save a soul, to save a soul. You will save a life by reaching out to say the truth. The Lord bless you all. If you have a young man, pass this message to this young man. Post it to their platform for them to listen to it. For that, so that they work hard on their own. The Lord will give the young man increase. The Lord will bless them. Men have also have already gotten it. They want to come out. The, the, the turmoil that comes out of it is that they have to go for deliverance. And some don't want to completely repent and give their life to Christ. They think they can just stop. They think they can just stop and move on with their life. It doesn't work like that. The covenant has been made. The soul, they'll be connecting to the person's soul to whatever they've covenanted. You have to go for deliverance. I saw this. I saw that they keep draining this young man. They keep draining. They keep draining. Until that one is done, another exchange. And people see, they want to give, they want to give. Look at a young, a young, a young teenager, good looking young man. They want to, they want to give them money, buy them over. Mothers, fathers, when your teenagers, your youth bring money that they are not sure, go and check where the money comes from. Go and check because many have sold their soul to the devil and they don't know. That's what is happening in these last days. And those of you that keep going from Facebook to Facebook, looking for women you want to get to know, go and get to know Jesus. For he is the source of life. He is the source of strength. Blessings come from our Lord Jesus, not from the women you are looking for. Because this message came as a result of a young man that sent me a message. A young man, my son is older than that young guy. Sending me a message, how do I get to know you? May I know you? Know me for, for what? You see my page, I'm a preacher. What do you want to know? Because they're after money. And that is because of their heart being prepared for money. That's how the devil catches them. Many are cases like that. So as you, as you share this message, may the Lord bless you. Many are the same. The Lord didn't take me to Hades to see aftermath of the woman, but I know I saw her, her soul taken out. Her lifeless body was there. And these dark creatures came and took her away. That's her death. Then I was taken down to see how the house was how the whole house was and what has been going on in that house. And the basement, the basement, what goes on in that basement at the bottom down there. And even though she's dead, those demons in that house are there. Also, when we buy house, we pray over the house. We buy house, we pray over the house. May the Lord bless you. As you share this message, God will richly enrich you in Jesus' name. I want to encourage somebody here before we go. Whatever hard work you put in what you do, trust God. People are criticizing. Don't be moved by what people say. They criticize me a lot. They every message they criticize me. Please don't give up. The Lord is very faithful. Number two, in your home, challenges that come in the home, be it because of children behavior they bring, hand them over to the Lord. The Lord will visit, intervene over the children, over the spouse, over the family. 
do not go look for somebody to judge. Don't say this person did this to me. That person did that to me. Who can touch the God's anointed? Every one of us anointed. Don't mind this minister that said, touch not the anointed. It's a lie. You and I, we are anointed because the spirit of God is in us. Are you hearing me? This one, they say, touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm. The Lord said that to the children of Israel. The Lord said that to the children of Israel. One in the nation that would want to put their hand on their on his on his on his children of on the children of Israel. So they twist this message, and when they lie on the platform, they you, you know you see blind followers that don't know the truth, human worshippers with saying, touch not the anointed, do prophets to him. When they quote this scripture, they don't know what they are saying. You and I, we are anointed because this, this the spirit of God is what the Lord used to seal us. We are sealed with the Holy Spirit. You understand? So you are anointed. The spirit of God is in you because you have accepted Jesus as Lord. So when you pray, the Lord hears you. Pray over your home. Don't have this fear. This person did this to me. That person did it to me. That is a lie. Yes, they, do they do? They do. They will say something, but the light of God. The Bible says they shall surely gather, but it's not by me, for I say they shall fall. A thousand shall fall at a left, ten thousand at a right. They shall not come near us. Only with our eyes we shall behold the destructions of the wicked. You are the light of God because the light lighted you. Jesus is the one that lighted everyone that is born upon this earth. Because you are the child of God, the light of God cover you. You are not of darkness. So anything of darkness will not stand. When they come, they hit the rock because Jesus is that rock. You see, when anything thrown at you, it hit the rock. I'm telling you, please, so therefore, as you live each day of your life, live a forgiving Christian life. Don't live in self-righteousness. Live a life without sin. The arrow will come if it bounce back. Number three warning I want to give. That's the next message the Lord said I should prepare for. People will pray, die, 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 die. That's a wrong prayer. It's a wrong teaching. I know some churches where well, every of their prayer is die, die, die. Who will die? Nobody will die. Satan is not, will not die yet. The Bible says we cast out, cast him out. Even if you bind Satan, Satan will not be banned because it's not time for him to go to the abyss. So when you are praying and binding, no more to bind, you bind demons, you cast them into the abyss, they will go. But you see, for Satan, it's not yet time for Satan to go. So what you do, you rebuke him. I rebuke you, Satan. I break your hands. I command you to lose your hold and get out. You will get out. That's for Satan. Let us understand when we pray. Let us know the truth. Okay? Don't be afraid. Those anything the enemy does, it bounces out. It will not penetrate. All they do is to try to bring something that make you confess negative and say negative. That's what the devil is looking for. For you to confess negative. Don't confess negative. Somebody say, "Oh, I'm dying." You know, you will not die. Don't say that. Oh, somebody did this to me. Nobody did it. Reject them. Even if you come to thought, when the thought come, you cast down the imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God in your life. Break their chains. Neutralize their power with the blood of Jesus. Wherever you are, release the power of the Most High God over those things. If the fire of God consumes them in Jesus' name, why are you afraid? This is one mindset people don't know. Somebody did this to me. Nobody did it. If, if they did it, it will not work. Because the greater one, Jesus have done it. He, he become a sacrifice. That set you free. The light of Jesus is over you. So who will, who will stand against God's elected? The anointing of God is upon you. Because you are saved with the Holy Spirit. You belong to God. You are the candidate for heaven. You are not of this world. Okay? So I'm putting this together to, to quicken your spirit up. Not to live in fear. God bless you. This evangelist got your faith on Nathan. We see you in, in daily devotion. Father, I cover everyone that have gotten this message with the blood of Jesus. Save our young men, our young women. Remove the eyes of many from God of Mammon. Remove the eyes of many from fantasies of this world. Remove the eyes of many from pleasing people of the world. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that your mighty power take over every soul that hear the sound of my voice. Convict them by your word and deliver this life. Our daughters, our sons, deliver them from every power that have been influencing them with the system of this world. Detach them from the satanic system of this world in Jesus' name. And I cover everyone here with the blood of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God, 
the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Christ and abide with us now forevermore. For surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. God is faithful. I'm telling you, my brothers, my sisters, God is faithful. Don't let your faith go down. Stand tall. Stand in the word of God. Take the word of God. Challenge God by his word. He's very faithful. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for being a part of this remarkable journey with Catherine Favor Worldwide Evangelical Outreach. We hope that our shared experience has ignited a flame within you, one that burns brightly with love and devotion for Christ. Follow and subscribe to our social media platforms, Facebook slash YouTube slash Instagram slash TikTok, Catherine Favor Worldwide Evangelical Outreach, website www.foutreach.org. Thanks for watching.